All right. Well, good morning, everyone. This is uh, the first episode of the Daily Huddle. Myself and my business partner, Giovanni Gonzalez. I am Sorel Ketan and uh, your servant. Uh, we both have been uh, in the field of leadership and business consulting and business coaching for over 20 years. And in the face of what everyone's facing with uh, the coronavirus and COVID-19, uh, we thought this would be a perfect way to give back to the community, empower ourselves and empower you by creating a daily huddle where uh, it's a 30 minute conversation where you and I, Giovanni, and people across the world who are listening, tuning in, can be empowered in dealing with the circumstances, make better decisions and get better results. So uh, are you excited about this? I am super excited. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I wanted to create this in the kind of format where you and I just have a conversation and we just, uh, you know, it's not that we're just shooting the breeze. This is uh, COVID-19 and the impact of the disease on people is, uh, is serious. And uh, Daisy, welcome. Welcome to the conversation. It's so glad to have you here. Say good morning. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Hey. And thank you for being here. Uh, for uh, you, I don't think I know you. Uh, my name is Sorel Ketan. My business partner, Giovanni Gonzalez, is on. And this conversation is designed for you and the rest of the world. It's being recorded right now. Are you OK with that? Um, yeah, I might log awesome. back on it use a different name then, but <laughs> I don't <laughs> <laughs> Well, do whatever you like. This is your conversation. Come back in, it will be in progress, and uh, we're gonna have some fun for about 20, 25 minutes, okay? Okay. Good well, deal. I, like I can just rename so, uh, it. Daisy, you, know, you don't have to log out. You just have to yeah. go to the top and just change the name. Yeah, I just saw that. I could just... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. So, uh, you know, for our sake and the public's sake, this conversation is very straightforward, very quick. We're going to take 25 minutes. And uh, every morning when we do this, we're going to deal with a question or a set of circumstances that will leave you empowered to deal more effectively in your life, whether it's your business, whether it's your family, whether it's your relationship with yourself. That's the commitment. So, Gio, I've got a question for you, man. Mm. Why should people tune in and to this conversation? And why are we having this conversation? Well, yeah, so I'm really excited about it because one of the, you know, as a, as a coach for, you know, you were sharing a little bit earlier for 20 years now, we have been helping businesses and people individually. Now that we're dealing with uh, the, the impact of the virus globally, a lot of the clients that I get to talk to, they're actually dealing with, a for them, something completely new, which is how to deal with this transition where people, businesses are impacted dramatically and being, um, being innovative, it, it, it's cloudy because it's impacted everywhere. And at the same time, there is the impact at home, like how to be at home, you know, where a lot of people are staying at home, or most of us are staying at home, and we're having to deal with the family and how, how not to create chaos in the family and how to be powerful in a very small space for a lot of people. Or some people are just alone right now, just, just hanging out by themselves. And the only access they have to the world is obviously social media and, and, and TV. But social media gets to them, um, creates anxiety for them as well. So, so I think this, uh, the Daily Huddle is an opportunity for us to come as a community have a real conversation and uh, and that, that will leave us with a sense of peace and with a sense of tranquility in the middle of the storm and hopefully also with some ideas some real ideas on how to be powerful to, with the circumstances that we're in yeah absolutely and you know you mentioned peace and tranquility in the middle of the storm and uh, you know a, a lot of people simply take the fact that there is anxiety and there's stress as, oh my God, it's normal. Come on, 
There is a pandemic. I should be anxious. There is a pandemic. I should be stressed. I'm home by myself and my routine is all messed up. I should be stressed and anxious. Or, you know, I'm afraid that uh, my money source is going to get cut off. I should be stressed. Oh my God, I may lose my job. I should be stressed. And that kind of environment sort of just builds like a snowball. And you can be paralyzed and actually be in the space where you go, you know what? Time has stopped uh, until this thing is over. I'm going to stop living. And when it's over, I'll start living again. Well, you know, I love what you said, Giovanni. This conversation is actually for the purpose of living right now. And there's something you talk about often, you and I, right? Something called being present as either the source of suffering or the source of power. Could you say a little more about that? Yeah, and there, you know, this is uh, some really interesting, interesting to say the least, right? Um, circumstances, right? But under any circumstances, uh, anyone usually for the most part is looking to have power in their life, right? I'm looking to have power in my life. You're looking to have power in, my, in your life. And anyone who's listening, Daisy is looking to have power in her life. And the place, it's always critical to be, to always critical to be present to the circumstances now in such a way, like what I mean by now, I mean like truly right now, like I'm in the office now, like you are where you are and this is where she's at. And it's critical to see that right now, things are fine. Like at this very moment, things are fine. So, so, so Gio, stay for a moment. I think this is cool. Uh, Daisy, can you try this out with us? Now take a look around. Tell us where you are. I'm at home. And are you in a specific room? I'm in the kitchen, yeah. And when you look around your kitchen, what do you see? A stove, a sink, a refrigerator. <laughs> you know? yeah, I mean, in your kitchen right now, is there anything wrong? Stuff's kind of cluttered because of all the food I bought, but. <laughs> <laughs> but literally, is there anything that would cause you to panic and no. go stir crazy and say, I'm stopping life right now? No. No, there isn't. And, and that's what Giovanni's pointing to. Like right now, in your current circumstances, there is nothing wrong. And yet, in the midst of nothing wrong, there is something that you and every other human being do that actually causes stress and anxiety. And Giovanni, I, I can't wait for you to point to that. Now, there's nothing wrong in Daisy's kitchen, yet in the midst of nothing wrong, there could be a world of anxiety and stress. And what would cause that and what could cause that? Yeah, so, so as, we, as we allow ourselves to look first to have power in our life, you know, anytime I want power in my life, I just need to stop myself. I just need to stop and look at the now of my life, at the current now of my life, like we are doing right now. And, it, and when I do that, and when anyone does that, at that moment, there is a sense of peace. At that very moment, there's a sense of peace. Like I'm feeling it right now. I'm looking at the office and I'm looking at all the little flip charts I have. And, you know, right now, at this very moment, I have a sense of peace. And then I do another exercise before I go to where you were, are pointing to, which is critical. But then I go into another place, which is, well, what can I be grateful for right now? What can I be grateful for right now? And so well, as I look... As I look around, and I'm, I'm going to say just like two things. I, well, I'm, you know, I'm grateful for that. I have a chair. I'm sitting on this thing. And I'm grateful that um, my door is open. I don't know, but I'm grateful for it, you know. And uh, Giovanni, I am grateful 
for what seems to be an endless supply of Haitian coffee. I love my Haitian coffee, and I'm so grateful for that. And I'm grateful for this cup. Uh, Daisy, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful for both the sunshine yesterday and the rain that fell because we really need it. Mm, yeah, and uh, if you look around you right now, so life right now, could you name something else? Thank you for saying that the sunshine. I love the sunshine too. <laughs> I'm grateful for the heater that's keeping me warm right now. How about that? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> You know, having said, having looked at your current circumstances and said, oh, well, there's nothing wrong here. And also having said what you're grateful for, uh, how would you say, what can you say about your experience of life right now, Daisy? I'm not sure what you're looking for here. <laughs> well, I'm not looking for anything. I guess I, I could ask you, uh, in the midst of everything that people are dealing with, what's your life like right now in this moment? Um, at this moment, I'm pretty sleepy and I haven't read the news yet, so it's fairly calm. There you go. In this moment, there is peace and calm, and you are sleepy. That, yep. is, that is cool. That is cool. Daisy, thank you for sharing. Thank you for interacting with us. And, uh, you know, in the context of this call, we're 15 minutes into the conversation, and on the shoulders of there is nothing wrong right now. And there's what we can be grateful for. Uh, Giovanni and I wanted to create this morning for the world and for you, Daisy, and for everyone, the power there is in actually making nothing wrong right now. So, Giovanni, when we talk about not making anything wrong right now as the source of power, what do you really mean by that? Yeah. Um, as you know, as the circumstances begin to unfold for all of us, and for some people, the the reality of their life is going to be different. Like um, we, we'll, we'll, some people will have a real concern about money, for example, and some people will have a real concern about someone they know well being, their well being. They will be affected by by the circumstances, by the virus. Or some people are going to be affected themselves by the virus. They're going to have the, 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 the disease, if you will. And then some people will, will have arguments at home just because of the proximity and they never really experience it so much. Then if, if we could leave with the message, and the message is that if you can get to a place emotionally where constantly... We don't make those things wrong. We don't make wrong what's going on. We don't make wrong having family be on top of each other. We don't make wrong being alone. We don't make wrong the virus itself. If we don't make what's going on wrong, then there is a place for creativity, for an, a new adventure that's available. Let me give you an example. For example, I've, a few years ago, uh, 10 years ago or so, I went skydiving and I broke my legs. And uh, well, one of them actually broke my leg. And I experienced something like what I'm experiencing right now. I lost, I had my houses and I was beginning to lose them and I had my family and I, they, were, they were away and I was alone and I couldn't walk for a while. But I asked myself, how could I make this an opportunity for me? How could I make this something of, that gives me access to do something I never had a chance to do before. And in the midst of all that, you know, I was losing one house here, I was losing another car there. It was, you know, in the midst of all that, I thought, you know, now I have time to write a book. I've always wanted to write a book. 
And that book gave me the rest of my life. So you, I could say with conviction, the best thing that ever happened to me, one of the best things that ever happened to me was breaking my legs and losing everything because that book brought so much, so much blessings for me. So many amazing experiences and relationships. Now I wouldn't jump again and break my leg again, right? But, but I can, I, it was something that came out of not making things wrong. It was something that came out of being present to, well, what's available now? What's possible for me? And I can't make that question unless I'm in a state of peace. So that's, that's what this is about. And uh, Gi Giovanni, one of the things I'm hearing when you say don't make something wrong, it's like, hmm, there is the circumstance the way it is right now. And when I'm making it wrong, I'm actually saying it shouldn't be this way. Mm -hmm. There is the pandemic. Damn it, it shouldn't be this way. I am sitting at home by myself. Damn it, it shouldn't be this way. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my paycheck's about to run out. Darn it, it shouldn't be this way. So if I'm hearing you correctly, there is in the space of looking at right now, right now, here and discovering that there's nothing wrong. There's also discovering that whatever it is I'm saying shouldn't be the way it is. Uh, actually, I can actually just be with that. Oh, it is the way it is. And now what? Yeah. And so that's you broke that your leg. And it is the way it is. So now what? I write a book. That is that is that is perfect, right? So uh, and, and let me add something, yeah? Let me add something. It's a transition that it, it really pushes people to be, become someone new because that's not the usual order of things. That's not like when you go to school, no one is telling you that. No one is telling you, well, then don't, don't make wrong the circumstances. Like, be with them. No one is really saying that. It's something that people get to hear uh, for the f a lot of times for the first time in their adult life, not make things wrong and being with them the way that they are. So it's a very, it's a mature transition that in some degree, in some degree, life itself is pulling a lot of people to do, right? Yeah. yeah so I wanted to add that. And, and that that's perfect, Giovanni. That's perfect because, you know, if there's anything that you want to take away from today's huddle, it is this. It is natural for me, natural for you, natural for you, Daisy. And Samara, welcome to the huddle. It's great to see you here. It's natural for you, Samara, to have a set of circumstances in your life and to say, darn it, it shouldn't be this way. And what we're pointing to in the skull and what we want you to take away today is every time I say it shouldn't be this way and shouldn't be my suffering exists and that shouldn't be my paralysis exists and that shouldn't be all of the efforts I will expand to actually make what shouldn't be go away takes me away from what's possible and what's possible is anything in this moment. So Giovanni, thank you so much for sharing this. Uh, yeah, Samara. I, yeah, and I wanna, sorry, sir. I want to add a few things to it because I want to, I want to give a scope of what you're saying. It shouldn't be. I want to give a little bit of a bigger, a bigger reach to that. Yeah. Like I'm in a relationship now. Right. And I live with, my girlfriend and we have a child and um, she is a doctor for, for Emory. And so um, my, the way that we usually live our relationship, the way that we usually live it is um, we should always have peace at home or I live it that way. Right. And right now it's not quite like that. It's not quite like that. So I, I'm having to, be with and allow her to be not like I'm allowing her to be, but like I'm coming from a place to it's okay that she's not experiencing peace right now. 
And so there is something to not make wrong about that. Yeah, and like 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 in your life, you're having to practice what we're preaching. Well, like, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, like I'm literally. Not, I'm, not, I'm not saying all this like I'm trying to preach you something. No, this is what I'm practicing right now. And like even last night, we had a moment of a disagreement about something really, really dumb. And I usually don't have space for dumb disagreements. And, but I'm noticing that this is a great space for me to practice. You know, it's not, there's nothing wrong with that disagreement. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I don't have to bring significance to it. It's a, it's a very powerful place to come from and it allows restoration to the relationship really quick. And there are any other circumstances that would have, you know, it would have been a great excuse to be upset for another six hours. <laughs> so, but not making it, not making things wrong opens up, you know, creativity and it also uh, opens up compassion, but it also opens up, and this is the critical thing I wanted to say, a new action that wasn't available. Not making things wrong open, opens up a new action that wasn't available in the circumstances. And so, um, and, and like I said to you before, this is new, this is a real new conversation for most people. They, most people never see creativity and power from not making things wrong. So anyway, I wanted to add that to, to the conversation. Thank you, Giovanni. Well, as you know, this is our daily huddle. The daily huddle is designed to empower you with exactly what you need to deal with the circumstances in your life and to leave you making better decisions and getting better results in your life not being paralyzed by what is so today. So uh, it's 25 after, we're reserving the last five minutes of this conversation to give you the people who are listening an opportunity to, to, to share, ask any questions, share what you're getting from this conversation. We'd love to hear from you. Samara, say good morning. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. So <laughs> tell us, uh, you, you came in for the last 10 minutes of the conversation. What are you taking away and what do you want to say? Um, well, I mean, I thank you for this platform, actually, Sorel. I just saw your post into one of those WhatsApp groups. I was not aware of this at all, at all, at all, at all. So I'm glad I decided to check. And then I clicked on the link that you posted. And here I am today. Well, welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, well, I, I think it's great. I mean, I didn't get much of it because I came in so late. I'm sure tomorrow I'll get more and then I'll be able to share more. All I'm saying is for everybody to kind of like use this time to get to know yourself. Use this time to learn. Use this time to um acquire a new um, hobby, <laughs> use this time to get your life together, you know, stuff like that. I mean, that's what I've been doing. That's what um, I've, I'm teaching my children about finances and how to budget, you know, things like that. Um, because, you know, everybody wants to run out and go buy, 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 buy. And I'm like, no, you have to pace. You have to see, you have to understand how money works. If you're spending, 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 what if everything fizzes up, then what are you are going to do? you know, things like that. So um, I am actually enjoying it, you know, because I, I see it as a way of, I don't know, the universe is, is allowing me to slow down a little bit because I'm always going, 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 going. Um, so I'm hoping that everybody could take something out of this too and try to like educate yourself more about anything that you feel like you're lacking or any interest that you have, go for it right now. But also, I am also learning about the virtual world, which is beautiful. Look how I'm communicating with you and everybody else who's in this platform. Um, so, I mean, I, I can't wait to hear more and more and more and more. Welcome to your daily huddle, Samara. I'm looking forward to hearing you and seeing you tomorrow. You know, there's a little camera button on your phone or on your computer, and uh, I'd love for you to click on it and have us see your face and have us see your picture and all that. Yeah, stuff. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> you know, I, I love these morning faces. 
<laughs> I know, I know. I know. Okay, okay. You'll get a peep of the morning faces and stuff because I was actually, I'm still in my bed enjoying this moment. But okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. There hello, you hello, are. Hello, hello, hello. Daisy, yeah. go ahead and take the last minute and uh, tell us what you're taking away from today. And uh, we hope to see you tomorrow. And uh, go ahead and invite your friends to participate on this platform. Mm -hmm. It is exactly the kind of platform to do exactly what you were saying, Samara. Daisy? Um, just that, yeah, remembering that this, this is um, a time in which to um, be empowered to take action and um, come from a place of calm and um, live, lean into the moment with uh, the ability to, I don't know, sorry, it's too early in the morning for me to think. <laughs> I'm on West Coast time. This is very early that. for me. <laughs> you know, this is your call. Whichever way you are on the call works. Daisy, thank you for being here. Samara, thank you for being here. Uh, Giovanni and I are leaving you with this. The circumstances are what they are. And if you look around you right now, there is nothing wrong where you are in this moment. And uh, you can give yourself grace and space. Uh, I want to conclude the call by saying thank you to all of the people who are on the front line, nurses, doctors, uh, transit workers, grocers, you name it. Uh, we love you. Uh, Giovanni, anything you want to say to conclude today's huddle? No, very good. Thank you, Samara. Thank you, Daisy, and everyone else. Who all right. Well, you guys later. same bat channel, same time tomorrow. Your 30 minutes to create your life, the daily huddle. Good day. Bye.